Hi Aquarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, Aquarius, let's take a look at what are your person's current feelings for you. Let's see. All right. Spirit, angels, and guides, please show me how does this person currently feel about Aquarius? Whoever Aquarius is connecting to and dealing with and love currently. What are this person's current feelings for Aquarius? Thank you, Spirit. this person's current feelings for Aquarius, whoever Aquarius is dealing with in love. Page of Pentacles in reverse, some of you are dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Okay. Hmm. This person is holding back from making you an offer. It's like they want to make you an offer. They want to, but they're holding back. Mm. It feels like this person wants to like um, make things right with you or like they want to establish a friendship with you. I feel like they are very like romantically drawn to you, but I feel like they want to establish a friendship with you first because they don't feel like you two even have that. There's not even a friendship between you two. It's like this person would like to build, you know, build up to, to having a relationship with you. You know, like slowly build it up. But they are, they are holding back from extending out this offer to you. Tell me more about um, this person's current feelings for Aquarius. Uh, what did I say? Look at that, Ten of Cups. There it is, Ten of Cups is that happily ever after. This is what I was talking about building. You see, it's like they want to build, they want to slowly build up the relationship between you two until it, until it reaches this ultimate, you know, fairy tale, happily ever after energy status between you two. That's their goal. That's their wish. You are their wish fulfillment. You represent their wish fulfillment. Okay. Yeah, so this is someone who definitely has a lot of feelings for you. But... It looks like wishful thinking at this point because they're not doing anything and they're not offering anything. So it's like, it's wishful thinking at this point, what they're doing here. Just kind of fantasizing about this, you know, happy fairy tale relationship with you. It's almost like they don't feel like it's realistic. They feel like it's too good to be true. They're kind of pessimistic about it. 
about achieving that with you. Tell me more about this person's current feelings for Aquarius. Yeah, look at that. Two of Pentacles. They're juggling. They're indecisive. They're going back and forth. Should I? Should I not? Should I say something? Should I make an offer? They're feeling very insecure here. They're feeling very insecure about making their intentions known to you. Keep in mind these readings and these readings roles can be reversed, okay? Felt like I needed to remind you that for, for some of you. So, hmm, they're not sure what to do here. I don't know what's making them feel insecure. For some of you, there's two people here involved. I mean, they're looking at you like you're you're their perfect person, though. Like you're the one that they want to settle down with, so. Even if there is a third party, I don't feel like they're really all that interested in the third party. Let's clarify this energy spirit, please. Clarify the Page of Pentacles. Ten of Cups and Two of Pentacles. Why is this in this person's feelings for Aquarius? The Sun. You see, this person is like picturing having ultimate happiness with you, with the Sun card. This is joy, happiness, celebration, passion, love. Hmm. Interesting, okay. Tell me more. Seven of Swords in reverse. Tell me more. Is there current feelings for Aquarius? My God, the Knight of Cups upright. Well, geez. Seven of Swords in reverse. This person wants to come out of hiding. They've been, they've been hiding for a while. They've been hiding themselves for, for a while from you because they have been feeling very, you know, I feel like they've been feeling nervous. They've been feeling really nervous to, to extend out an offer to you. It's an offer of love. It's an offer of, you know, friendship, of let's get to know each other. Let's build a relationship together. That's what they want to offer here. Tell me more about that to a pentacle spirit. Yeah, it looks like they want to come out of their their hiding spot to to make their feelings known to you, to express how they feel about you. It's I do feel like they are scared of rejection. Tell me more about that to a to a pentacles. Tell me about two of pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles this person's current feelings for Aquarius? Oh, okay. Well, Five of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they are scared of being abandoned, ghosted, rejected, left out in the cold, experiencing failure with you. They don't want to, um, you know, they want to succeed. They want to have a victory with you. They don't want to fail. They're scared of failing. They're scared of you not feeling the same way about them, the way they feel about you. They're scared of you declining their offer or like, you know, rejecting their, their interest in you, their desire for you. Hmm. I have a pentacles in reverse. So I don't know if this already happened because it's in the reverse. So I don't know if they already, they might already feel like they tried with you once and they failed. And this might be a second attempt on their part where they're, they're wanting to try again, but they're scared of failing again. You know, so for some of you, they've already 
tried with you. They've already tried to establish something with you and they feel like it didn't work out. So they're, they're kind of scared of that happening again. Um, tell me more about the Two of Pentacles, Spirit. I want to know about this. Yeah, the Nine of Wands, they're guarded here. They feel guarded. Hmm. Yeah, they're scared to, like, you know, put it all out there for nothing, you know, like, let you know how they feel about you and just... be vulnerable with you for nothing. So they are guarded here um, and they are kind of resisting their own temptations to to reach out to you, to to go after you, to fight for you. <clears throat> they're very tempted, but they're resisting those temptations because they don't feel confident that it's going to work out in their favor. Well, let's see, I guess. Let's look at your feelings, Aquarius. How does Aquarius currently feel about this person? All right, how does Aquarius currently feel about this person, Spirit? What are, what are Aquarius's current feelings? So we have the Eight of Cups. You're walking away or or did you already walk away in the past and you're still walking away? You don't look very interested, Aquarius. But why do we have Eight Cups here? So some of you might feel like you already gave this person a chance. Some of you might feel like you already gave this person a chance because we have all the all of these cups that that represents you know emotional investment. So some of you might feel like you already tried and you ended up disappointed and you walked away and you're still walking away. Okay. Tell me more about how Aquarius currently feels about this person. The two of cups in reverse. Okay, why are you two on our, why are, why are you two on different pages? Completely different pages here. You two don't match in, in your energies at all. This person is seeing a future with you and you're not seeing a future at all with them. Two of cups in reverse. You're seeing no future. Okay, you two are very um, contradictory here to each other. Okay, so you don't you don't feel the the connection here. You don't feel like there is a there is any potential here for anything. You feel very disconnected from this person, and you want to disconnect from this person. Apparently, tell me more about how Aquarius currently feels about whoever they're dealing with here in love. Oh. Queen of Swords in reverse. Well, that's your energy, Aquarius, so you're angry. When the Queen of Swords in reverse comes up, she's angry, you know. She's carrying some sort of grudge or some sort of resentment. Also, this person offended you, basically. They offended you. They disrespected you. You felt disrespected. They did something that you didn't like that changed your perspective of them, changed your view of them. 
It does look like at some point you did have a good view of them because we do have these cups here. So at some point you were open to them, but they messed things up with you in some way. They said something, they did something that rubbed you the wrong way and made you change your your feelings about them and your your perspective of them. You just don't see them in the same way anymore. Hmm. Well, who knows what happened here? Let's clarify again. Tell me more about this um, Aquarius's current feelings. Tell me more about Aquarius's current feelings. I don't see an apology in their energy at all, though. Page of Pentacles. This doesn't look like an apology. No. It's a love offer. They want to offer you love, but I don't feel like they want to apologize here about anything. Doesn't look like that. Tell me about... Oh, the King of Swords. Okay. I just saw the King of Swords right now. Some of you are dealing with a air sign. Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Tell me more about Aquarius's current feelings. Ace of Pentacles, Magician. All right, let me read these cards. Ace of Pentacles, Magician in reverse. Three of Swords, Ace of Swords in reverse. Someone lied to you? With the Ace of Swords in reverse, this person might have lied to you. Or, yeah, look, I think they broke your heart, honestly, with the Three of Swords. They broke your heart because they... They said something, they lied to you, or they manipulated you. You felt manipulated by them, or you, feel, you felt lied to by them. And, you know... There was an opportunity here with the Ace of Pentacles, but you feel like this person um, showed you their true colors. Yeah. And you no longer feel like this is an opportunity that you want to invest in anymore. They, they showed you their true colors it looks, this looks disrespectful, honestly. So I don't know what this is, but this energy feels very like someone who was disrespectful in some way. Tell me more, Spirit, about um, Aquarius's current feelings here about for this person. Temperance. Okay, Queen of Rods in reverse. Okay, Queen of Cups in reverse. So you just want to heal. You just want to heal from this relationship, from this person, with the temperance card. Um, and anything else here about the Queen of Wands and Queen of Cups? Uh, no, uh, no. Four of Pentacles in reverse, three of Pentacles, and the Death card. It looks like you just want to focus on yourself. You want to focus on your work your career, your finances, and you just, you don't, you just want to leave this in the past. You want to drop this and just kind of, this, this affected you. You don't want to pay any mind to it anymore because, yeah, I think this affected you actually, like a lot with the Three of Swords. This person hurt your feelings. This feels like a fall from grace. This, this feels like a fall from grace. This person fell from grace in your eyes. Well, who knows? I have no clue what this, this person did. What did this person do, Spirit? I don't know if I can see that. What actions did this person take towards um, Aquarius in the past?
Her seven of cups in reverse. Hmm. There might have been multiple options here connected to this person that you didn't like. You might have felt like they weren't really prioritizing you. Or they weren't, you didn't feel like they were exclusive with you. You felt like they were being fickle. With the seven of cups. Mm. What actions did this person take towards Aquarius in the past? Nine of cups, immature energy there. Okay, and the six of cups in reverse, so... Hmm. All right, this person might have had um, attachments to to other people or to other situations, and you might have felt like they weren't really prioritizing you, you know? Yeah. All right, let's take a look at what's going to happen um, moving forward into the near future. What's, a, what's the most likely outcome? Something about them being immature also, emotionally immature. This, look at this energy. This is like an adult and this is a child here. There's three children here, actually. Yeah, so you might have looked at this person like a child, like they were acting like a child. Inconsistent, fickle. And you're looking for someone more grown up, more mature. What's the most likely outcome moving into the future? Five of Wands in reverse. Chariot in reverse. Okay. Hmm. What do I feel like this person is definitely going to try? This person's going to try again, but you're going to reject them. I don't think this person has a chance with you, to be honest. So, yeah, this person is like on cloud nine and I, I think they're gonna fall from cloud nine. You know, they're on cloud nine thinking about you here, you know, thinking about the future with you and I don't, I think they're gonna have a rude awakening here. I don't see this happening. Tell me more about um, the outcome or actions that will be taken in the near future. Yeah, th that feels like you, King of Pentacles. You're going to be very focused on yourself, on your work, your career. And I feel like this person is going to make an attempt here. They're going to make an attempt in your direction here. To um, recover their relationship with you. You know what's weird? I, I, you're going to reject them though. But what's weird is that I don't feel like there's an apology in their energy. I don't even feel like there's guilt in their energy. I don't see any guilt, any feelings of guilt here. And maybe that's the issue here. The issue is that they don't really, they don't even recognize what they did wrong, you know? Because they're just that, you know, oblivious. They're not self-aware, you know? They don't even recognize what they did wrong. They don't even have an apology here to offer you. All right, so yeah, that's what I see, Aquarius. So I hope this helped you. I hope it made sense to you. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.